There's a saying in Colorado, if you don't like the weather, wait 10 minutes. Today, I do like the weather. It's dry. Thunderclouds are forming quickly overhead as we gear up and I mount the Galaxy Dust R18B that will be my steed for the first half of the day. This 877-pound behemoth is half of BMW's second play at the American Cruiser and Touring Market following the initial launch of the base model R18 and the subsequent R18 Classic. The B and its counterpart, the 942-pound Transcontinental, are big, heavy, and look about as American as a Kraftwerk album. In the Colorado Rockies, we are about to find out how BMW does Grand American Touring. We meander slowly through Denver's dense traffic. It's overcast, muggy. We're in a hurry to outrun impending weather, but the city isn't letting us out just yet. A long stop and those six-lane highways and zipping down open side streets, the bee's handling is surprisingly neutral, the bike is easy to ride. Despite weighing 116 pounds more than the 761 pound or 18 claimed weights, low-speed handling is much improved on this model. This improvement is credited to the modified Turing chassis, which received two major changes. A thicker double steel backbone accommodates the added weight and larger gas tank, and rake angle has steepened from 32.7 degrees to 27.3. This not only reduces the bike's trail and wheelbase, but because the front suspension components are identical to those on the R18, the bike's ride height and available lean angle have increased. As we putt from stop sign to stop sign in the low revs, power is readily available and the weight of the bike is easily forgotten for a while. We turn on the Highway 6 at just the right time. Dark clouds stay behind us as we roll toward Golden. It's 85 degrees with a cool wind and the world's problems disappear. The seat is comfortable, ergonomics are surprisingly perfect for my 6'4 build and at 75 miles per hour in the rock, most aggressive, power mode, the engine pulses pleasantly while effortlessly turning 2,650 RPM. I hit the button for active cruise control and another to set my top optimal speed. It works flawlessly in both dynamic and comfortable modes, adjusting the bike's rate of acceleration back to optimal after sensing that slower automobiles in front of you have moved. The system allows you to pull in the clutch and even shift without disengaging as long as you don't drop below 20 miles per hour, at which point it will automatically